Hey guys and girls, it's Fox Green back here again today. And today I'm really excited to review a product that I think any of you snipers out there that are running VSRs or SSG10s are really, really gonna love. And that product is, of course, what's sitting here in front of me, which is the Stalker Scorpion Piston. So any of you out there that especially have an SSG10 know how loud that gun is. It's, it's good performing gun, but the noise has always been an issue. But this bad boy right here will solve that problem completely and get you on par with an SRS, which is incredible to, to think that you can make an SSG so quiet with something so simple. So naturally, being a Fox screen review video, we're gonna test this in a unique way to see what it, how it performs. And we're gonna look at how this thing is installed in the gun, etc. So we're gonna take a real close up look at this and talk about its features and why it's so good. First of all, I'd like to point out that the price on this, the price on this is gonna be 109 euros and you'll get everything you see here and more because uh, with this kit, um, you'll get lots of different interchangeable weights and sections, almost enough to make two pistons. So that's really good to know. So what makes this piston unique over all others out there and why is this design so different to others well there's a few different things that I'd like to mention the first one being the air brakes so the air brake on this bad boy is completely adjustable in length and it's held in position with a screw meaning it's centered perfectly and will not hit your nozzle as it slams forward the cup on this is made to much tighter tolerances and is made to very durable rubber and that means you'll get an absolutely 100% air seal. It doesn't matter what jewels you want to run in it, this thing is not going to leak air. As you can see, there's some very nice uh, glide rings here. These are the SSG version glide rings, they're slightly wider, but there is also glide rings for the VSR setup that comes in the pack as well. And then, as you can see, in this configuration, I've got five weights. Now, that's the beauty, that's, that's one of the things that makes this completely different from all others. So there is black weights, which are four grams each. They're anodized aluminum. And there's these gold color steel rings, which are actually 11 grams in weight each. There's also two different heads and bottoms. So there's a black version and a gold version, which are different weights as well. So all in all, you can configure this with up to 12 different weight combinations. Anyone from 43 grams right up to 90 grams. Now a lot of people say, okay, why does weight and changing the weight matter? Well, some people argue that a heavy setup like this one, this is a heavy setup, will give you flatter trajectory in your BBs and give you a lower thump sound when it shoots. While others like weight options purely because it means they can adjust their uh, jewels and FPS. So by changing weights of the, the piston, you can actually adjust further your jewels and weights without having to touch or cut your spring. So it's really interesting the fact that you can do that. Now another thing is this has been optimized to run really well with Rapac springs and in particular the reason being is this uh, laser engraved stalker spring guide right. Now you might notice that it's hollow here and the reason for that is, is because this is adjustable air brake and that's to allow it if you're running it on a shorter configuration. To, to actually center into that. So it's a really smart, thought out piece of engineering there. But as well, that this, you won't need to do a can mod with this, especially if you run stalker springs. And you'll see later in the video me explain that. But uh, it's, yeah, it's just the small little, um, little bits that mean you get no spring wobble and no noise from the spring. Now, one other extremely unique and probably the most unique feature of this is that this piston can be short stroked. So in essence, when you go to cock your gun, um, you won't have to pull it back as far. And that's purely by adding more than the minimum of five pieces. So you can add six, seven, even up to eight pieces. But just bear in mind, if you do do that, you will reduce the amount of air volume in the cylinder. So to get the same output in joules, you'll probably need a larger spring, but you'll have a short stroke gun. So that's really unique feature about this and probably one of the most unique features which is really cool. So if you don't want to pull that bolt all the way back, you only want to pull it half the way back or um, you know, two thirds of the way back, then you can add more pieces, but put it in bigger spring and using the weights and the spring and FPS adjusters, you can balance it back to the jewels you always would use on site. 
So with all that said, we're now going to move on to the installation of this and I'm going to show you how it is chromino, etc. And then eventually we'll move on to testing. Okay, so this is part of the video where I take you through the actual product, the Scorpion Piston, and I go through exactly what it can do, what all the different weights can do, and why this is different to anything else that has been put on the market before. So, at the first thing that's worth mentioning is this particular setup, while there is a version of the Scorpion Piston for the SRS, this one is for VSR and the SSG-10 only. As you know, um, the SSG-10 is like probably one of the most loudest guns out there so this setup will be able to help you achieve deadly quiet um, shooting at two duels and more so this is a really really cool setup so first of all let's go through here anyway what I have in front of me so this is my um, 2.3 dual setup he, on this I have all my heaviest weights so it comes with two um, of these glide rings also. Now the narrow ones are more suited to that of the VSR whereas these thicker ones are more suited to the SSG-10 rifle. But you can use either R in both setups. So in my setup here I've got all the heaviest weights bar I'm not using the heavy uh, piston cup weight I'm actually using the black version. So this is just what I find to be the best um, setup for me. But also this allows further customization by changing the weights. So I could put in a few black, a few gold, I could do all black, all gold. But in other words, this setup, it, as it comes with all these pieces, will allow you to change multiple different weights and, and all of that has an impact on not just FPS, but sound. And also, a lot of people swear that heavier setups like this one give them much flatter shots at distance so that they get a much flatter trajectory rather than an up and down trajectory so there's a lot of benefits to this and this is the only one out there that allows you so many different weight combinations right uh, we all heard of the wasp which is a very really good piston uh, that's not being made anymore that allowed you three different weight options so that was really really good but this allows loads of combinations and I'll just put up a little graph here showing you all the way combinations you can achieve with this. The, the longer you make it, the, the bigger the air cushion it forms in front of the piston making it quieter. The less you put it in, uh, the less of an air cushion. Um, but as well, you mentioned that the longer you make this, the more uh, effect it has on FPS. But again, by changing weights, you can counteract that. So this is a really, really good set uh, setup for fine tuning. Now, this takes me on to the, the third unique aspect of this that hasn't been done in any other one. And that is that because the weight is changed by adding sections, you can actually make this up to seven pieces long. Well, you could make it eight pieces long too. And what that will do is it will short stroke the gun. So, but I want to explain something about that. If I use this two joule spring, which gives you somewhere in the region of two to 2.6 joules, depending on the length of your barrel and the gun you use it in. If I use that to say for argument's sake, that's giving me 2.3 joules, right? With this setup, which, which I know it actually is. But I decide to add two more pieces. What that will mean is I'll have less of a bolt pull and it'll also reduce the amount of air volume in the in the cylinder so invariably while I'm short stroking it I'm actually going to massively reduce the FPS of it but so if you want to short stroke your gun and you want to achieve say if I can say 2.3 joules you may need a 3 joule spring to do that so you use a bigger bigger spring because it'll have more velo more um, speed and it'll make that less lesser volume of air go out the barrel faster and you'll achieve 2.3 joules so you can short stroke your gun but you'll need a bigger than expected spring so just note that another thing I'd like to mention is this uh, spring guide so this is has got tighter tolerances and I'll show you in a minute um, exactly how I know that but in effect this is like you know, a lot of people do a cannon mod to their spring guides well in effect this already has that because the to tolerances are tighter and it's made to work extremely well with a wrap spring. So I'll just show you here. 
so there's literally going to be no vibration or wobble when that's on there. That will not make any wobbling noise because the tolerances are just perfect. And I'll, I'll prove that again later just so you know I'm not ap actually bullshitting you. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the 2.3 joule setup in my SSG 10 with the Novrich standard kit. And then I'm going to show you the setup I use and the combination of setups I use to achieve what I find to be the quietest at 2.3 joules with the Scorpion piston. So first of all I'm going to strip down my SSG 10. But as you probably saw there, there's so much, there's nearly enough in the Scorpion kit to make two, two pistons, which is actually incredible. But, um, you know, they allow all of that so you can make, customize it any which way you want. So I think it's really good value for money. You're nearly getting, you're nearly getting two pistons for the price of one, but they're extremely well made. So I'm going to strip this down. And in this, I have the standard Navarch, um piston set up for... Um, exactly 2.3 joules so I'll just take this gun apart first real quick treat us very handy I love this thing it makes life so easy putting in and out big springs so this is the spring in this is a wrap axe there you go there's an average <laughs> piston that just went flying this is actually a Rapax um, 2 plus joule spring. Um, it's the light pull version, so really good. So I just want to point out here, right? So there, there is wobble on that, right? There is wobble on that. Now, as I said earlier, I said I'd prove this to you, that the Stalker one doesn't have wobble. It's already, in effect, got something like the Can Mod dunted. So here's a Novrich FPS adjuster. It will not fit on that, right? will not fit on that so that's proof that this is a much tighter tolerance no need to do any modification that and that's all part of the package because it's trying to achieve the quietest possible sound so as I said here right this is exactly my 2.3 joule setup so I got the 2 plus joule spring I got this one FPS adjuster by Navrich and that so this is the first setup we're gonna test outdoors um, and and it, I'm going to test it at 10, uh, 20, 30 and 40 meters. 40 meters being the minimum engagement distance for most of you guys out there with two joules and more. So that's going to be the actual distance that matters the most because that's realistically the distance you'll be shooting at an enemy. So I'm going to do it this setup and then I'm also going to do it with my, uh, my stalker setup which I'm going to show you now what that looks like. So the stalker setup is the stalker um, spring spring guide with two of these FES adjusters. It's the two plus joule light pull bolt, and it is this this setup. So five gold, and I've got this extended quite a bit. So I'm again going to test this at 10, 20, 30, and 40 meters outdoors and show you what it sounds like from the person being shot shot at's perspective so you'll be able to hear the thump and the bb flying past and that's exactly what i'll do so now i'm going to go back and put together this uh Navrich setup the stock setup with a two jewel spring and we will go outside and test this bad boy out and see what the stock one sounds like first of all Now with the main components reassembled, we're just going to do an air seal test. This is obviously 2.3 joules with the Novrich setup. Okay, so pulling the trigger, and I'm going to I'm going to actually block this as hard as I can. Pull the trigger, so you can see. I'm going to keep it held just to show that this is sealing good. Okay, there you go. It was a good few seconds, no problem with the seal. Now, let's put this gun together and, and we will take it to the field and then on the field we'll also put this together and we'll test that out. Functionality check. Now 
And obviously on, on, in the field we'll be testing the science. I took this off specifically just so I could do the air seal test as you cannot do it with this otherwise because there's a hole through it for tightening it onto the barrel. Let's get testing. So now that we're outside in the woods, we're gonna test out the Novridge piston versus the Scorpion piston. And how we're gonna do it is in four different distances. So I'm gonna put my really good microphone here down range where I'm shooting with the camera. And I'm gonna shoot shots past it at 10, 20, 30 and 40 meters with both setups, with the standard piston and the Scorpion piston. And they're both gonna be set to around 2.3 joules, which I'll show you in the chronograph also. Now, as well as shooting directly at the target to mimic me shooting an enemy target, I'm also gonna shoot at 90 degrees um, away from, from the microphone. And that's to simulate if you're in the woods shooting at a particular en a target and there's enemies come all around you, left and right flank, just to simulate what you'll hear with both setups. So this is to make the testing as accurate as possible. Now, because we're in woods, there is some background noise, natural background noise, and that is always the case, but there's a little bit of traffic noise, so I'm also going to be surrounding my microphone in this acoustic foam. We're leaving only the area where the shooter, where I'm shooting from, exposed. So as much of that ambient noise around is soaked up as possible, giving you the most accurate as possible audio results. As you know, getting audio results from microphones, cameras, um, is very hard. To, it's very hard to mimic what it's like in real life, but this will give you the best example. And I'll be showing you SSG, Scorpion, SSG, Scorpion. So you'll be able to hear the exact difference and be able to judge for yourself. I have my gun set to uh, uh, these BLS 0.48 gram BBs, so we'll be trying these out first. So, just to show you that my gun is chronoed to this weight. So it's coming in around 2.4. Okay, yeah, so that's 2.361. So, that's pretty damn close. So now that we're all set up here, we're going to start doing the test. I'm going to leave my microphone down here with the camera to mimic uh, what the person being shot at hears. Ten steps.
So as you saw, that sound test was really interesting, especially when I shot at 90 degrees to camera. Um, it's definitely at 30 meters and at 40 meters were the standout ones where you could actually hear the SSG still really clearly, but the stalker piston, you couldn't really hear it at all actually, in fact. So you're really just hearing the BB that was coming down range out of the gun. So I thought that was really interesting. If I had to tell you in person what it sounds like, because the cameras don't, isn't picking it up perfect, um, I would say that the stalker piston is probably, I'd say, four or five times quieter than the stock setup. So really, all you're hearing when you shoot the gun is a small thump, and you can actually hear the BB cutting through the air. Whereas when you shoot the, the stock piston, you hear the thump. And you can't, you have, it's so loud you actually can't hear the, the BB leave the barrel and cut through there. So it's it's kind of, it's basically mimics how an SRS performs, which is really, really cool. Now, I haven't tested this in the VSR, but um, I think a VSR, you probably even yield better results because the VSR is a quieter gun than SSG 10 anyway. It wouldn't be a review video without talking about limitations. So what are, kind of, what's the only gripe about this? Well. So my only gripe I have is it works really good from like 1.8 joules and up, all the way up. Um, it, it works probably even better for like, you know, 3 joules and, and bigger springs. Um, but at 2 joules, it's, it's dead quiet, absolutely dead quiet. But here's the, little, the one little thing to note. At 1 joule, it is quieter than the Navarre setup, even with an air brake, but only marginally. And right, the reason for that is actually quite interesting. Some people out there think one jewel guns are really quiet. That's nonsense. One jewel guns are actually, as snipers go, some of the loudest guns. And there's a good reason for that. And I'll explain it right now. So on a one jewel gun, you obviously have a much weaker spring. And when the piston is fired, it moves much slower compared to a two jewel or more. Now, the air volume in a one jewel setup and two jewel setup is the same. The opening width of the nozzle is the same, right? So if the spring piston is traveling slower the air can escape out the nozzle nice and easily and you don't form as big an air cushion in front of it but with two joules and more because the piston's moving so quick and the nozzle opening is still the same size and the same volume of air is getting out when it gets close to the end and this air brake go enters the nozzle that cushioning effect will be much more extreme and really quietens the gun only other small little limitation i have is because you're messing with weights, adjusting weights, you're looking at jewels, you're looking at everything like that, you, you kind of need to have an idea what you're doing. So it's probably something that's more targeted at experienced players that want a really, really quiet setup. Someone who's just brand new to airsoft sniping and all will pick this up, but they mightn't get why they're changing weights and stuff. So there's, there's a bit of science in why you change weights and what, what, and what you're doing. So for a newbie, it might be a little over their head, but still, in fairness, if you just put that together and drop it into your gun, it's going to be super quiet at two joules and more. So, yeah, you know, if, if you're some bit tech savvy, you don't need to be extremely tech savvy. This is going to make an awful lot of sense to you and it'll be something that you'll truly value. So my conclusion is this is probably the biggest thing to come to the SSG family in a long time. And this is something that everyone wanted. So I think these things are going to sell out super fast. Now I have a link in my video description below to get these on Scorm Shop, so click on that link, type in Scorpion Piston and look for the VSR slash SSG one and away you go. But don't forget, they're also doing this for the SRS and that's putting out some amazing results. It's the same idea, it can be configured loads of different weights. Uh, that's even quieter again. It's just the build quality of the SRS, etc. It's super quiet, it's scary quiet. It's literally all you hear is the BB. <laughs> so um flying down range so yeah if you're interested in this guys and girls click on the link below get it they're gonna sell out fast more and more will come out but as i said this is just released this is big and i don't think it's gonna last too long so move quick and as always if you like this video please like subscribe hit that notifications button also drop some comments below ask questions i'll give you as much feedback as i can I'm still playing around with different weights and this is so many combinations that can be made out of it. So it's really interesting. And my good buddy AK Staten also has a video on this. He's got proper mics and he was able to capture the true difference, the quietness. So 
check his video out it's, if you really want to see how super quiet it was um, compared to my video. And yeah, I think you'll be blown away. And I think this is something that's the hottest product out there right now for airsoft snipers. So, so with that, guys and girls, I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys and girls, it's Fox Green back here today and this is my dog Bella and yeah, Bella's going like, hey, hey, hey guys and girls, it's Bella back here again today. Oh my god, dog, my god, you're very cute, but you must go down. Go on, down you go. Good girl, go down. Sorry about that.